Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I did, and I feel very rested after a few days off. It's so nice. Um, I also feel very grateful today. Uh, today, uh, I've been sober for 2,222 2, days in a row, which is a magical number, so it's a magical day. And, uh, and I mean, I've been speaking about it before, like the gratefulness I feel in regards of my sobriety because my life was really chaotic and I was really unhappy and uh, and then um, everything went really down um, emotionally more for me than than anything else I still had quite a functional outside but um, on the inside I was just totally totally black uh, but um, in sobriety I found light within and I feel super happy for that. And that's also, you know, one of the biggest reasons I had the courage to start this yoga challenge. I never ever had the courage to put myself in this position if it wasn't for that. So I feel enormously grateful for being sober and having worked with myself a lot. I also think dealing with a lot of the comments that I get, it's um, if it wouldn't have been for my program of recovery, it would have been really hard for me. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm in enormously grateful for that. Um, and I'm also really grateful for a beautiful day, kind of off today too. I'm going to work a little bit in the evening. Um, and then uh, we're going to be in a beautiful village where I was actually as a child uh, for vacation with my parents when I was young. Um, I haven't really been back. I remember one thing really a lot about this village that there was a there was a car on the roof I guess it was like some retailer of cars and they had the car on the roof and I, I was very amazed by this as a child um, and I'm also I'm very grateful for the, the green grass you know that I can step on and, and connect with and feel a part of and that I can practice yoga on this green grass so we're gonna do some yoga get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows. This part I listen to. Or what's going on in your body and in your mind. We're going to start taking control over our breath. So on the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. And on the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. Inhale. We're going to come back to this breathing eventually, but before that we're going to do the breath of fire. And we do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine quick and fast. So inhale to start. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do the hip road. Inhale forward. Exhale back.
Are we going to switch direction? Beautiful. From here, we're gonna come to all our fours. So place your hands straight underneath your shoulders. Place your knees straight underneath your hips. On the inhalation, come forward with your belly. Look up way up here. On the exhalation, come down. Inhale. Beautiful, we're gonna tuck our toes and on the exhalation come to down dog. Oh. Straighten up. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck. From here we're gonna come to plank. And we're gonna place our weight on the right foot. And see if you can find a balance here. If you do have a balance, look up on your left hand if you want to play a little bit you can come up with your leg exit come down and we're gonna do the same on the other side find your balance inhale come up and if you want to play Exit, come down. Straighten out in down dog. <clears throat> On the next exhalation, we're going to come forward with our right foot. We're going to place it outside uh, our uh, hands. And if possible, we're going to come down on your elbows and work in what we call the lizard pose. If you wanna come down on your knee here, you can do that. From here, we're gonna come back with our leg and stand in plank. If you wanna come down on your knee, do that. Come up again on our hands and come down to downward facing dog. From here we're going to come forward with our left foot and we're going to work the lizard on this side. We're gonna come back and we're gonna come down to the Sphinx. Inhale. 
and then come to child's pose. Gonna reach our arms ahead of us and just stretch the back out properly. Mm. And come up. Come back to Taylor's position. Watching the clock. We can do one forward bend in Taylor's position before we quit. So inhale, straighten your back up. On the exhalation, come down. And just relax here. We're gonna do the same on the other side. So straighten up. Exhale, come down. Gonna finish this class together with three. Uh, we're gonna finish with a meditation. Get down on your sitting bones and close your eyes. Focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're gonna spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this moment. Oh. Ramatma me namaha Sri Padanjala Yoga Darshanam Tata Samadhi Padaha Hatha Yoga Nushasanam Yoga Chitta Vritta Tinirodaha Tata Drashtu Tarube Vashtanam Rutti Sarubya Mitanastra Rutaya Panjataya Klishta Klishta Ha slowly come back to the room where you are. We're gonna finish today's class together with three shanties. So place your palms together in front of your heart and you have to start. Shanti 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 Place your palms to your forehead for you to think good thoughts through the day, to your mouth for you to speak the truth, and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people. Namaste. Thank you so, so, so much for today. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.